I'm Don LaGreca with Greg Buttle, and welcome to Week 11. I've decided to go sans product in my hair, get ready for football. It's about the raw emotion of the event. Oh, so you beat me up because I have product in my hair? Well, no, you're you're television. About? I'm radio. Okay, so and let's we come go. together. Right, who's the first game we got? All right, the first game we got, because Greg is in no mood, is the Ravens are home for the Indianapolis Colts. Now, the Colts, to me, are doing it with mirrors. I mean, it's unbelievable this team is undefeated. They've won 18 consecutive games in the regular season, going up against a Baltimore team that's not quite the same defensively as they've been in years past. Well, let me tell you, if those mirrors are mirrors, you got it right, but it's bulletproof glass, because here's the, here's the thing. Peyton Manning's number one in touchdowns. They have the number one offense. They have the number one on third down efficiency. They have the number one of everything in the league offensively, and they just come off a great win on a Monday night. Here's the last thing, too, Don. The Colts are 6-0 and against the Ravens since 2001. That, to me, is impressive. Should they go 7-0? and I think they should. All right, now the Chargers are going to be in Denver to take on a Bronco team that has kind of lost it. They've lost three consecutive games, and now people are saying that it's San Diego's division to lose. And right now, are they going to lose this game, or are they going to continue to march on against Denver? Well, here it is. If, if the Broncos beat San Diego, I think that's going to be the first home-and-home -home win in years by the Denver Broncos. Number one, Kyle Orton may not be ready. And if he's not ready, that's Chris Sims. Is Chris Sims ready? I don't know. I'd love to see him play well, just because I love to simmer. But... I'm not so sure that's going to happen. San Diego's on a roll. I think San Diego can do it all around the field, and defensively, they're pretty good. I don't think Denver is going to be 7-3. and three. So you're telling me that this is a team that's lost three in a row. You're telling me it's a team that may be on the verge of losing four in a row. I think it's time for the rally. All right, Sunday night, Philadelphia Eagles travel to Chicago to take on a Bear team that I'm having trouble figuring out. Here's what you have to figure out the Bears team. It's called Jay Cutler. That's all it is with the Bears. If it's a quarterback, folks. Their defense is good enough to play. Their offense can play. They got weapons. But Jay Cutler is the guy that's got to find the magic. He finds the magic. He beats you. If he doesn't find the magic, he ain't pulling a rabbit out of anybody's hat. Yeah, if he doesn't find the magic, he's finding defensive backs and linebackers stealing the ball away from him. That's the biggest problem. Now let's go local. The Giants are going to be at home against an Atlanta Falcon team. Michael Turner says, hey, it's still early in the week. I still may play, although everybody seems to think he will not play. Can the Falcons go into the Meadowlands and win if he doesn't? Well, how about this one, Don? I don't think Michael Turner is going to play. And, in fact, Jurius Norwood, he's injured. He's questionable. I don't know if he's going to play. That's his backup. You think they're going to be playing with a fullback all the time? It may be against the number one overall defense in the league by the New York Giants. Yes, 274 yards per game. That's all they've given up, and they're 5-4. and four. Come on, Giants. About time you put up, not shut up. All right, you know what? If the Giants lose, I think their season is over. Now, the New England Patriots coming up. Why do you off. think their season's over? Because they'd they be 5-5 five and five with five consecutive you losses. You think Dallas Cowboys can just go Here's on what I'm the saying. Eagles? Come on, Don. It's not about what other teams are doing. You've said this many times before. It's about what you're doing. And the Giants have had two weeks to correct it. And if they can't get it corrected at home against Atlanta, <laughs> then they're done. You can't be pulling oh, stuff out of the hat you know, like that. Oh, about yeah, out of your hat is okay. where I'm pulling it from. Now, the Patriots are home. Brilliant win against the uh, brilliant win. It should have been against Indianapolis and ended up being a loss. They go for it on fourth and a yard and a half. I'm still not sure what was going on there. And now you got a Jet team. Rex Ryan's emotional. How do you think this team's going to work out in Foxborough? Everything done. Now you've been spousing on the radio. Michael K. Everybody is about how the Jets can't win this game. It's all against the Jets. I happen to agree. It's all against the Jets. There's no way the Jets can even go out, stay within the 10 points that the Dolphins, I mean, the Patriots are going to give them. But you never know what's going to happen in the NFL. The Jets yeah. have lost five games. Where you look at them, you go, how'd they lose the five games? They've done stupid things. I'm telling you, Don, you give them a chance. If they play smart, what's going to make them think they're going to play smart? They haven't played smart so far. If they play smart, Don, that's not a bad football team, but they still have a rookie quarterback. But you still would have to admit, if the only positive analysis you have for a team is anything can happen, that's not good. In this league, anything can happen, <laughs> and it can. Anything happened against the Colts with the New England Patriots. Anything could happen. Who would have thought they would be up by 17 and lose that game? Certainly not you. You went to sleep that night. You didn't even finish watching the not game. not true. He's lying. 
I stayed up and watched that game. I texted you. Was, I texted you, and there was no answer from you because I was stunned that they went for it on fourth and two. What do you think, folks? You think you're buying this nonsense? Buy it. Believe me, that's week eleven. What's in store week twelve? You're gonna have to wait and see.